Hello, I'm Luke with London Woodcraft and in this video I'm going to be showing you a few um, tips about some photography for shooting your knives which is a lot of people doing now with Knife Thursday and Instagram and also I'm going to be showing off this knife this is the Zero Tolerance Zero uh, 200 and it's got a stabilized um, Hawaiian mango uh, scales on it and um, also when I cut um, scales out of a block what I can do is if I cut them both from the same piece you can see how the grain on this it has the same flow through the whole uh, through the knife because they both like this piece came off of the block the same way this piece did so they're sitting right the way they came off of the block and um, you know we've got a lot of boil effect in here when you look at it from different angles now as far as photography tips in this one um, if you're a know-it-all photographer you could shut the video off right now if you don't know everything then um, you might learn something here what I'm going to talk about is when you're getting like a sunset in the background how to expose everything in your shot without using a flash and um, first you need to find a place where you want to position your knife if you have a tripod that's great but um, I'm not going to use one now because I don't have a really sturdy one with me um, I, right now what I'm choosing is uh, I got a couple branches here I got the sun up um, about 10 degrees or something I don't know what you'd call that but it's, I think it's about an hour before sunset I think that's called referred to as the golden hour we got some uh, intruders over here <laughs> yep we're in Canada um, okay so this is kind of a flimsy branch so what I like to do is and um, all you uh, tree huggers you might want to close your eyes I'm just gonna make a little cut on here just to help stabilize my knife and then I'm letting the back end here sit on this branch here and it's not very windy so but as you can see this side of the knife is shaded it's obviously bright in here so if I Turn on my camera now. I shoot usually in manual, shooting raw because you could affect, you could uh, adjust a lot of things after in the programs. Um, I'm adjusting my uh, that's my shutter speed, my aperture, and my ISO. Now ISO you want to keep as low as possible. So I'm gonna try to position my shot and get my. I'm not going to go into all the details about how to expose a picture properly because you can get that from any um, photography uh, video but I'm able to keep my ISO at 100 um, which is great and I'm shooting my apertures at 6.3 and 80th of a second Okay, now that is showing with the sun, um, sun's, the, the background's too bright because I was kind of exposed to the camera. So now what I'll do is I'll expose more to the background. Now if you have a, like a camera that does HDRs, if you have a tripod and you can hold it really straight and take three pictures, you know, you can combine them uh, later. Say I go a little bit um, darker. It's kind of not the best sunset because there's there's no like distinct clouds. It's kind of all like hazy and stuff. But anyways, you can see that picture there is uh not too bad. Now I got what you call a scrim. And this is kind of a small one what it does is whoa <laughs> gotta watch out that doesn't disappear on you reflects the the sun and you could you could use a white um like this one here it's got a silver side it's got a white and it's got a gold 
those are for giving you kind of different color temperatures like the gold if we should be using that right now the pictures would show up probably too red that's another thing is um, Kelvin right now I'm shooting at 5500 Kelvin which is the white balance um, and this is a um, Canon 7D by the way and if you don't have a camera this well you can use this technique using an iPhone and I might try taking a couple pictures like that and showing what they look like but if you don't have a camera like this haha <laughs> I do you don't know <laughs> but uh you can see on the knife now when I'm moving this it's reflecting light on the knife but I still have my exposure the same and if you have somebody to hold the scrim for you it helps but if you don't you can just uh, do it yourself man up and do it okay it's not I'm gonna have to brighten my picture a little bit I'll try bringing my aperture down. I'm starting to get it there. Try it. One hundredth of a second at um, ISO. I mean, uh, aperture of four or okay, f-stop of four. I'm a little too zoomed in there. Now I'm getting the background too bright again. <laughs> No, maybe this is a fail video. No. It helps to have a bigger. I'm going to try using uh, the white side. I might try the gold one too. That looks pretty sick, but I'm going to try the white first. I'm not really getting a whole lot of idea of where it is. My background is still looking kind of way overexposed. There's a lot of adjusting and tinkering around to get the desired shot. Another thing too, try to have your blade clean because fingerprints show up a lot on there. I think I got better with the silver. Cut! Okay, so I'm back to the silver. Uh, I'm gonna try this again. The sun isn't really bright to reflect but that could also be beneficial because it won't be as bright in the background it's starting to look better there I'll just kind of show what it looks like when you're reflecting it. Of course this camera has auto white balance so it keeps changing. And you can tell when you get it on the knife like that where everything's kind of lit up, that's when you use it. Okay, so that gives you a bit of an idea of one way to expose your, your picture better. You could also use a flash, however a flash kind of has like a has a certain look to it you can help that by if 
you know if you have a DSLR or like a flash it's better to have something that's farther away from the camera and to diffuse it with like with like a white sheet or, or they make diffusers and um, you know and there's a lot of playing around with uh, your shutter speed your aperture your ISO and also your flash speed so that's a whole nother um, field and you could Google or look for some videos for that on YouTube and there's some people that explain it pretty well anyways I'm gonna go take some better pictures of this with the Sun shining directly on it cuz it's kinda hard to beat that okay I found another location where I uh, stabbed the tree and it'll heal don't worry um, I got the Sun over there and what I'm doing this time is I'm trying from a different location I'm bringing the light up from the bottom and the Sun has gotten a little lower um, and I'm having a little more success here what I got is the light kind of coming up from the bottom I think I said that already Yeah, so you just got to try different places and keep experimenting in different angles. It really helps if you have somebody to hold the scrim for you because then you can have both hands on the camera, adjust your focus and your zoom and everything. And it uh, seems like on this target, having it as close as possible. If you have a bigger one, you can have it back further. But sometimes it's kind of complicated, you know, holding the camera and the scrim at the same time. and keeping your framing right and a lot of factors to consider but I hope this has been helpful to you and you can take some pretty badass knife pictures see you next time have a great day you can go now audience is still listening alright well I like that camera but 